Hi friends, I'm Adafa from Easy Approach and in this video we're gonna discuss provider state management in Flutter and we'll discuss what actually provider is, why we need it and how can we implement provider state management to make a simple application. So suppose we have an application that you can see on the screen and that's actually showing the user information on the screen and the application definitely has a data model as well which is in our case a user model and the current screen of this application is using this user model to show the details of the user. But suppose if one of the fields from this user model gets changed, like job title, would it change the UI? The simple answer is no, because in Flutter, you cannot directly change or mutate the UI. What you need to do, you need to call this set state, and in the set state, you need to change the data, and that would change the UI. But using this set state is not a good idea, because as the application grows, you need to use this set state so many times manually. And second thing, the data model is shared between many screens or different part of the UI. So you need to explicitly pass the data from one widget to another or, or from one path to another manually. And that becomes so horrific as the application grows. So there exists a better way than this. What you can do, you can make your user model a change notifier, which is from provider. And then you don't need to call the set state anymore. Because if something is a change notifier, and some of its fields get changed, what you can do, you just simply call notify listeners and it will notify all the listeners of this user model. It means it will notify all those parts of the screen that are actually using this user model and all those parts get, will get re-rendered to show the latest result. But, not, but that's not the only difference between provider and the normal set state. There's one more thing that in change notifier in provider actually you can share the change notifier very easily without uh, without doing so many work and as i said in the set state you, when whenever you want to share the model between different screens you need to share it via constructor but in change notifier you can easily share uh, the user model or the data model which you want to share without doing so many code so this is why uh, we need to use this provider and it's too simple to implement and but too effective for the simple application. So that's all from the, from the detail. Now we'll, we'll implement the provider and we'll make a to-do application so that we can have a better understanding. So now let's move forward. Let's take a look at the UI and the project structure first. I have used here a scaffold widget and in the scaffold widget I have uh, uh, I used an app bar and in the body I have used column widget for layouting and in the column I have two widgets. The first one is a column widget again which is for uh, which is to show this clock and it's just a hard coded clock and this is actually the main thing an expanded container which actually contains a list view and this list view will show all the tasks that have been inserted by the user but for now it's just showing a constant value here i have given item count one initially and some constant da constant data that's why it's showing a, a constant task here but we'll change it later so what we we need to do actually whenever the user will click uh, uh, on this add button we firstly need to add the task into our to do so this that's the first thing what we need to do and the second thing is whenever the task would be inserted into the task list we need to update the ui accordingly here we need to add uh, the task that's been added by in, uh, that's been added by user and show in this list view so basically we need to do two things first to add uh, the task into task list and second to show the changes so here I have make uh, two models as well to save the time. The first one is the task model. It just uh, a single, it just contain a single task. So here I have two fields. The first one is the task title and the second one is the detail of the task. So these are two uh, string fields that I have in my task model. And there are two getters as well. And there is another data model which I have made here and that's a to do model. And what it does, it contains a task list, which will in which um, uh, the, all the tasks that's given by the user will be inserted in this task list. And I have made a ta add task list uh, method as well, which will take task from the input from the user, and it will add uh, all the tasks that's been given by user in this task list. 
so these this these are all from the data uh, from the project structures but one more thing i have added a dependencies a disp dependency as well to use the provider you need to add this provider cap 3.1.0 plus one so these are all from the project structure and uh, the dependency that we need to add so now let's move forward and do our first thing this to do model is actually being changed by the user because whenever the user will insert a task this to do model will ever get changed so what you need to do you need to make it change notify as we discuss uh, while discussing the provider now what we need to do whenever the user will give us the task to add we need to add the task in this task list and notify all the listeners so that all the parts of the ui which is in our case is just a list view will get re-rendered sh to show the latest result so we will just take uh, the task from the user but for now as to save the time i'm not uh, taking the task from the in from the user i'm just making a constant task uh, and and just add it into a task list so what i'm doing here i'm creating a task model with some random values here you first need to give the title so i am giving here title and i'm here giving uh, the task list count sorry it's length and the second thing that we need to give is the task detail so this is so these are just uh, the constant or the random values it will just uh, create a sequence of task 1 uh, task 2 task 3 and we'll just add this task model into our task list how we can do we just call task list dot add and in here we'll pass just task model now the main thing has come now we need to notify the listeners because uh, we have added one task into our task model into our to-do model so how can we do we'll just simply call notify listeners and it will notify all the listeners all the ui parts uh, which is in our case is just a list view and it will uh, the list view will get re-rendered and will show the latest result so go in uh, main.dart file and now what you need to do firstly uh, we need to uh, make this button uh, functional and whenever the user will click on this add button we need to access this add task and list method and we need to add, add the task and after that we'll, we'll work on on the changes that we need to show here so now firstly uh, we need to add a task uh, uh, in the task list uh, when the user will click on this add button so how can you access your to do model which, which is a change notifier in your main dot dart file to do so you can use a change notifier provider change notifier provider actually provides you the instance of your change notifier uh, where you want to access it so we need to access uh, the change notifier provider to add uh, the task into our to-do model in this main.dart file so what we'll do we'll simply um, wrap this column widget we'll simply wrap this home page widget um, to a change notifier provider so just go here at the top and call change notifier provider and it will provide your change notifier to the descendant of the child that you will give here so what i'm doing here firstly firstly you need to call this builder and in here you need to pass the context context and you'll just return uh, the instance of your to-do model which is uh, a change notifier and now in the child you'll just paste uh, you'll just give your my home page and what it will do it will do it will provide this change notifier which is a to-do model here you have given to the, the to this uh, to the child of uh, the, the change notifier provider so you can access this change notifier provider in this whole widget tree so now we need to add uh, a task uh, into our to-do model 
here whenever the user will click uh, on this add button so I'm going here uh, where I have defined uh, the button here I have the button and in the on press I'll access uh, uh, this to do model and I'll add the task into the list so to do so you'll just simply call here provider dot off in order to get your change notifier here and you need to pass here the type of your change notifier as well which is to do model and now you can access all the functions and all the fields that are available in your in your in your to do model so now uh, we need we just need to call the add task and list method to add the task into the test uh, into the task list so we have done the first part we have added the task uh, whenever the user will click on this hit button uh, we uh, will add the task into the task list now we need to do the second part we need to make changes accordingly whenever the task being inserted being inserted into the task list we need to make the changes here into task list so what you'll do uh, you'll just wrap the changeable thing um, the thing the widget actually uh, which is being changed after the after the change notifier uh, change uh, you'll just wrap this widget into consumer widget which is actually from provider and to pass here the type of your uh, change notifier as well and you'll just simply um, make here a builder and in the builder you have three things the first one is a context and the second thing is your to do which is the latest instance of your to do model and the third thing is a child now you'll just simply return here your list view so this is how uh, you need to uh, this is what you need to do in order to make changes uh, in our list view now what it will do whenever the data in the change notifier gets updated it will rebuild all the things that's available in the builder and here you have the context like uh, you have in every builder uh, in every builder and you have a to do it is the latest instance of your to do model after the changing and this child is just for optimization we are not using this now what we need to do we need to change the list view uh, data according to our to do so firstly what i'm uh, i'm giving the to do item count i'm giving the item count to to do list actually i'm passing here the size of um yeah here i have a task list and i'll just pass here the length now what we need to do we need to change the text as well so i'm just simply writing here to do dot task list and here i need to access the current task by passing here index and now you can access the title and detail now I, i'll just pass here the title and in here i need to pass the detail now let's run this file now the application has run successfully now we will add uh, the task into our task list it should add the task and show here on the screen so you can see here uh, the add, the newly added task here now we can add the number of tasks that we want to add so this is uh, uh, it from this video so we have learned the provider state management and we have see three things basically first we need to make a change notifier uh, of the data which actually uh, being changed and the second thing we need to access this change notifier uh, to call the uh, to update the change notifier uh, like we have uh, added here by calling this add task and list uh, and after that uh, whenever the task uh, whenever some data has been changed uh, whenever the change notifier has been changed you need to call the notify listeners and it will notify all the listeners uh, which actually observing the changes in this change notifier and which is in, in our case is this part the consumer part so this consumer part is actually the part that's been observing uh, that's actually observing uh, the changes in the change notifier and when, when whatever in the builder uh, is in whatever is in the builder gets a rebuild uh, gets a rebuild or gets re-render uh, whenever the change notifier is changed and this to do is the latest to do instance 
So this is how you can uh, use a provider to make simple applications on Flutter. It's quite simple but effective and you can make uh, so many applications by using this simple technique. So this is it from this video. If you like the video, please uh, share, uh, please subscribe my channel and share the video. Thank you for watching.